Alright, this is Jay Raymond and we are here in the Wellspring Sands. Eastern the Eastern Wellspring Sands. And right head south to the Marsland region. Eastern Marsland Sands. Danger level forty five. Is it showing a sunset again? I think it is. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just the very bright sunlight. I see Marcel in this dungeon to the south. Just a standard cave? Probably because it doesn't look like there's another. Uh, what are, what are you? Remnant Mark II. So that remnant has no elemental weaknesses. Ow! Oh, they're blizzard. Okay. Oh, I killed them all. Level 50, so that is not the uh, level 55 one we saw earlier. That's just level 50, not bad. The Desert Cat of Marcelum? What 
This is Marston, the capital of Lars Town, these dry sunlands. A man loses his son, and he spends most of his days working. He makes his son read books to fill the time he can't look after him. Though he takes pride in being a father, he feels good they can't spend more time together. Ooh. These have a chance of, of failing. Well, there we go. Wasn't that bad overall. Okay, Marslim is huge. As expected, but yeah, it is really big. This is the stronghold of the Knights Ardent. You'll find Lady Eliza here most days. Oh, yeah. And she's not in here right now because I'm currently. Yep. Having spent his most of his childhood around books, this young boy developed a passion for reading and now aspires to be a researcher. Though his, though his studies have taught many things, he was able to discover a way to talk to his own father. City of Gold! Hello. I think I've probably recently been studying the legends of a certain city, but I don't suppose you would care. Well, there we go, that's the City of Gold quest from earlier in the game. That's one way to solve it, there's another way too, but I'm, I'm not sure if I can do that. I, I have this now, so I must just do it. Master Swordsman who will fight courageously without reservation to protect his master. He has no purpose or desire but this. Swordsman Yuri. Tr Oof. 273. It's still not as good as the Forbidden Blade. Why not? An aristocrat has an aristocrat has lived his life of absolute luxury, flaunting his wealth without reservation and walling in decadence. His family fell of grace when he was young, but he works tirelessly to build their estate, and doing so earned the right to live his life as he pleases. Cat's eye. I've lived my whole life till now, enjoying every pleasure we had in this land. I have seen every beautiful work of art, listened to the best orchestras, tasted the finest meals. Yeah, so yeah, of late I found myself wearing such weary wearing of weir eating of such things. There's nothing left for me to discover in this world. There must be something that no one else has yet to seen. I can't be finished yet. In search of the unknown. Yeah, I don't have anything right now. Greetings. Yuri there fell the folk inside the royal SWAT is amazing swordsman. If you believe the tales, he's even good enough to stand equal with those two, the twin blades of Hornburg. Anyway, I can at least say for myself that I've never seen your defeated in battle. Though this new recruit is still unbloodied, he has every intention of following in the footsteps of his superiors and becoming a career soldier. His earnest ambition sometimes leads him to try too hard to make mistakes as a result, but so the others regard kindly. So he, he was talking about Yuri over here, who uh, he said he could uh, rival even the, um, the the twin blades of Hornburg. Interesting. A woman who sports her husband, a brave knight who serves the realm, worried they works too hard. She does what she can to er ease his burdens and help him relax when the time opportunity arises. That knight? Greetings. No, he's a soldier, not a knight. Uh, it could be, I guess. My husband comes from a small village called Orwell. When he left home, he fought with his mother. I don't think he'll ever turn. Now he's on record, leastwise. I worry for him. It takes a long time to hold such a grudge, especially against your own mother. That's gonna probably be a side quest in Orwell.
So is that to the west? Yeah, it looks like it's a it's a um, an exit to the west town. I'll take the inferno axe. A taciturn young man. He owes a great deal of de a great deal of the old man who lives in his house. He remains by his side at all times, and he that he might eventually pay us this debt. Okay. Sometimes there's people inside inns too, but not not usually, not in most cases. That's what, not inns, taverns. I tend to avoid taverns because of that, but I should check them just in case. Hide behind an NPC. I can't clear you. I can't talk to you. The people of Marstom are indebted to the Order of the Flame. Knights are often stationed here. Brilliant Bow is for attack power. That's the first time I've had a physical defense increase in a while. Just go north down this road. See there? You can see the entrance to Marsland Palace. <coughs> Born with beauty and grace, this trying woman has gained much on her journey and has come to learn of both the good and the bad in the Sunlands. Oh, I can steal the rest. Reduces fire damage. Taken. Oh, you're, so we meet again. It's Rhea, don't you remember? You helped me recover my stolen letter in Wellspring. I must meet with a certain chieftain who is here visiting this town, but our meeting must remain a secret. I must do what I can to discover his usual habits, then go him at the time when I know he is usually alone. Or well, that was my intention, but the situation is com complicated. I, must re my, I mustn't reveal myself too soon. Do you think you could assist me? Could you try to find out his daily habits? I promise that once everything has come to a rightful conclusion, I will explain all. So please, while well, I know I'm asking too much of you, I must beg you, please help me. So, she needs to meet with a certain chieftain, and she needs to know his whereabouts, so I probably have to inquire or uh, scrutinize someone in order to get information on how he moves around. So it's not, probably not something I can do right now. Or I have to go in, in here. Nothing there. It could be one of the many NPCs out there I could not inquire though. So I just get uh, if I just get Alpha up to the right level. Hello? This is Marston Palace. Proceed upstairs to Royal Audience Chamber. Go south of the palace and you'll reach the town. Listen. Please, stranger, will you listen to the request of a prisoner who is shortly to be put to death? I once had a woman I loved, a woman called Lara. I suppose her name means nothing to you, but before I die, I need to know whatever happened to her, please. A person with countless regrets, which he muttered softly to himself over and over again, to a wretched sight. See, so find 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 his Lara, and probably all, you probably don't need anything other than to know what happened to her, and and he'll, yeah. I am a knight in the this realm. The role was not given to me. I sacrificed much to become the main man that stands before you. Never again why anyone call me a lily livered ass who amount to nothing. <laughs> wow. The Sushan who serves the realm, wounded by his mother's harsh words more than ten years ago, he worked hard to bear himself and vowed to one day return and show her the man he's become. Oh, so that's probably that that's probably gonna be a side quest in Orwell, and you have to either lead him to her. Yeah, you you can you can you can guide him. I can guide him. I'm going to Orwell next, so let's just let's just take him now.
This gallery of monster palace also serves as the executioner, and so he uses a block reputation on the bandits and cutthroats throughout the land. However, he's actually a man of great compassion, who listens patiently to the foul words of those predators condemned to death. Dang. Yes, I got it! So that's everything there, then. On the left of the ground floor is the gal. I keep watching the prisoners. Can't make those ne'er do wells escaping now. The audience chamber, and of course, he's not there. The Royal Iron Chamber is beyond. If you would seek His Majesty's counsel, pray enter. Wait. Tempest Amulet. All the King Column subjects that revere him. You. What two tiring few days. Perhaps my visit up my fresh spirits. Can you see I'm a busy man? Leave me in peace. I have to inquire him. There's nothing going on there. I can't do anything. Okay. Well, we're done here then. Alright, so we're done with Marsden for the moment. Our next destination, I mean, I would think that you, I, I would, you know, I would probably move on to this area, but I can't because there's no path here. You have to instead go up this way first from Orwell. So let's do that. Let's go let's go to Orwell next. Yeah, I've literally never gone down this way. South Orwell Pass. Oh, okay, so this path will take you down to, uh, yeah, this will take you down to the, I think, Riverford? I believe it's called Riverford, yeah. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Right. Uh, that guy's big. Cliff Bird King 3. Nice miss of the axe. No bows. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, I already used Blizzard. Uh, fire. You can tell this is the path that leads to the river because there's water flowing from the, the cliffs and down uh, into the ravine. Wait. Huh. Oh, that's the path to, um... There's one dungeon here. I hate spiders. I've been there. Mr. Saint Holy Traveler, I am the chosen knight. Not bad, eh? I mean, my, I made my salutation. They're in practice, you see. Uh, a noble riverford. He has always believed himself to be a man who is fate was ordained by the heavens. He once came to see a vision of the sacred flame and began training as a cleric, and no time resolved to become a scholar after concluding that the noblest pursuit was that of knowledge. After some few days, however, he grew tired of both of these endeavors. Ali, it's worth it. Dragon Song, song Fane. North River Traverse. I. What was on the other path then?
Oh, Alfin's here. Well. This town here marks the edge of the Clifflands. We don't get much of Orwell, but feel free to stay as long as you like. Great. A blue calling himself Sir Vanish just came by, clad head to and the finest male. What was he out to you, reckon? I'm Kaya, the girl with the dragon egg. You've been ever so helpful. I came to this village to look for the blaze stone so I might catch the egg, except the dragon egg's been stolen. The man who took it said to meet him in Dragon Song Fang if I want to get it back. That hardly sounds safe, does it? I don't know what to do. I guess all I do is uh, t uh, go. Yeah, I guess all I do is uh, take her. Uh, sorry, not take her. Go go to Dragon Dragon Song Fane and get the uh, dragon egg back. There's not much here, here in this town. It's like a, this is a very small little village. We came to the village decades ago to marry her husband. If left to his own devices, he would spend every leaf on drink. No wonder she has recently taken away outside her home to find him going to the tavern. <laughs> That's kind of sad. A Lambo, a Lambo who detests all exertions, to the point that he hates having to expend effort to avoid expending effort. Unsurprisingly, he's unemployed. A merchant who failed to head to heed the advice of others and was taken by the false promise of a charlatan. Believe it to it to resume himself, he has decided to shuffle off his, this moral coil. In other words, he's gonna try and off himself. <clears throat> Don't come near me. I mean it. I was cheating to trade enough without a copper in my name. So now I'm fainting to throw myself off this cliff. I'm not fit to call myself a merchant. It's all over. Unless some gold up two falls into my lap, that is. I said don't come near me. The jelly pain. When did I get that again? No. Stay away. Just leave me. I've got nothing else to live for. What's that you say? A golden opportunity? I would hear it. Oh, so this jelly pale vegetable warms the belly and stays off the chill. The people of the frozen north have gone quite mad for it, you say. Can this be true? For, for Fizz, now is not time to be leaping off mountains. My luck's changing at last. I shall buy as much jelly pale as I can. Lay my hands upon. My traveling friend, I'm going to be everything I have on the left on this scheme. I'm gonna get better than I have in this, in this game. Thanks be to you. On the precipice. Huh. There's a path up the west you can't go through. Cyrus. That was nothing. My father was a merchant before me and traveled his fair share. He didn't say he saw a dragon near here once. If it's food you want, go to the tavern. You won't get nothing from here. Okay. I didn't really want anything, but okay.
Amanding hatchet, so that's a uh, elemental hatchet. Pull my faith. Is that true, you? Hello, mother. I'm so sorry for what I said. I've regretted it ever since the days you left. To call my own son a jolly living ass, how awful I was. I never once forgot it either. Every day I recall his words. They made me the man I've become. From morning to eve, I trained, shirked, no task, no door labor. I was determined to prove you wrong. And now I am a sworn knight of Marcellum. You are? What fine armor you wear, lad. You are a knight proper. You proved me wrong, my son, and I couldn't be happier. You've made me proud as I can as can be. Thank you. I I'm sorry too for leaving you alone all these years. I'm bursting with pride over my son, who's a knight of the realm no less. As long as you're still breathing, it's never too late for your fortunes to change. That was a happy ending. I mean, it was pretty obvious when, when they kept talking about how uh, the uh, mother and Orwell, so I had to bring him with me. The man who spends every walking moment feeling sorry for himself. A few days ago, his advances were rebuffed by a mate, tavern maid. Ever since, he has taken spending hours on the bridge, staring in distance and silence. Poor guy. How do you view? It's all it has, really. Wow. That's kind of a sad disposition. Alright, uh, and I guess we're done with this episode of Octopath Traveler. We've explored through Marcellum and also Orwell. There's, like, it's weird because there's supposed to be some sort of big thing here in Orwell with, um, I, I found a, um, was a, a whetstone of Orwell? Yeah, I found a whetstone of Orwell, but you get to Orwell, there's nothing here. It's, it's a basically dead little town in the, the cliffs. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're done here for now, because the next episode of Bad Traveler, we're going to be heading to the river, we're going to head into Riverlands and River Ford, followed by Dusk Barrow. Until then, this is Jane Raymond, signing out.